three ball pythons there. So aggressive. 349. Apparently we need the 40 gallon. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Reed DuPont. Today we're doing something pretty special. Um, I'm getting myself a pet snake. And we're on the way right now with Sierra, driving the, driving the big truck. I did a poll online on my Instagram. I was either gonna go with a corn snake or um, the uh, ball python. And I let y'all decide, and I think it came up to like 65% said the ball python, python. So that's what we're going with. And they have two, they actually have three ball pythons there. One's albino and then two are normal. Uh, I guess they're like the brownish, black color. Um, but we're gonna check them out right now. Check out these birds up here. It's freaking dope. We had one of these birds, but it had like a really long tail, and it pooped on my head. Yeah, that's what they'll do that. Well, my dad put it on my head. His name is Cookie. Oh, look at that one. So, these snakes get anywhere between three and five feet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, males are smaller than females. Um, this is the ball of python I'm talking about. So, I'm looking for some kind of just starter kit, something, you know, don't have to buy everything individually. Something that comes all together to have a couple couple things here. There's like a big one. They got a variety of tanks here. Um, they got snake wise, they got a 40 gallon and then they have a 20 gallon. Um, everything in it, everything you need. I think I'm gonna go with the 20 gallon just cause the snake's pretty small and I don't wanna get too big of a tank to start out with. Okay guys, so here are the ball pythons. First of all, take a look at this albino one. Super dope, super pretty. Look at the design on a uh, on this little guy here. Look how much they want for him. Three forty nine. Okay. Banana ball python. I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get the normal ball, ball python. Sixty bucks. It's a lot better price range. Uh, and they got two in here. They got a really aggressive one. Um, he's in the back. Let's see if I can focus. Let's take a look at him. So he seems to always be in the striking position. I don't know why, but he just he just looks so aggressive. And then there's one hiding inside this uh, that little den right there, way back there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's two in there. I'm probably gonna pick one of those two, Definitely. even though I really want that one. What do you say? Definitely really not what? Definitely not the mean one. She doesn't want me to get the mean one. Fine, I don't know, guys. I, I might have to Look get him. him. We'll He's see. He you. looks freaking pissed always because we came in here last night and he was the same position just like ready to bite someone oh. uh, But we'll, we'll see here in a second Dopest chameleon ever I want it. Look at him. They also got some right here these bearded dragons these guys are really cool so I was gonna get a leopard gecko, but um, I decided not to just because they're literally always hiding there's actually like five in this little tank here, but you can't see any of them because they're they're actually like behind those rocks and stole there. That's why I didn't get them. Plus, I mean, who doesn't want a snake, right? Um, no. Bruh. Do you know if this guy is a male or female? Uh, they're too young to tell, really. Okay. And then it's also really dangerous when you check because you're basically popping up in that. Okay. That they have. If you do it wrong, you can do some damage. Right. Okay. So there's like Good a, to know. Like, if you do, I would recommend going to a vet. Okay. If you're going to try and do it this young. Sweet. Look at that. So we got that that um, tank right there. Does that work for this guy? It will for about three to six months. Three to six months. Then you have to get a bigger. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I would recommend getting the forty gallon for it. You would. Okay. Until he gets like, you know, really massive. Right. But. All right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll get this guy here. You'll get that guy? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's a lot chiller than the other yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. All right, so apparently we need the 40 gallon. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but he said that he's fish. He's a fish. These snakes just grow super fast. So we're getting this guy here. Gosh. 239 <laughs> for a tank. <laughs> We're back at the house. Uh, we were literally at PetSmart for like two hours. 
Um, yeah, too, too long. But anyways, we decided to get a 40 gallon tank after the 20 gallon was supposedly too small. Uh, but it probably was gonna be too small anyways after, the guy said it was like, after like four months, this tank was already gonna be like this big. So I'm not just going for the 40. Uh, this tank's got everything in it, full kit. Uh, we're gonna go over literally everything that's inside here once I start opening it. But as you can tell, you know, just everything you need. Checking out what's inside the tank here. You got your water bowl, you got your heating lamp, you got a heating pad, uh, you didn't get your thermometer right here. Uh, this is water conditioner, so you put it in, you can use like tap water uh, for your bowl and then you put some of that in there. Makes the water um, drinkable for the snake. We got a hiding spot here. We also got another hiding spot. Uh, we'll go over why we got two of those. And then we got our aspen snake bedding. Oh, we also got um, arctic mice to feed our snake. And we got some tongs so we don't get bit by our snake. We're gonna take all this stuff out and then we're gonna put our tank on our desk. First thing you do when you get your tank home, find a great spot, uh, not too close to a window, but not too far. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the gravel or your base layer down. We're using, like I said, this Aspen snake bedding. How much you should put in, it doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference. I'll put it in an inch, two inches, maybe three inches at most. Uh, really whatever you want. tank is ready to go so I'll explain what I got here so how you want to set this tank up you want to have a hot spot which is the right side of this tank and then a cold spot left to the side of the tank um, this snake in particular likes um, temperature in between 90 degrees anywhere anywhere between 90 degrees and 70 degrees um, so it'll vary the temperature will vary as it goes to the left and then it'll tem the temperature will rise as you go to the right um, so what I did here, you want two hiding spots for when he wants to be colder, you got this hiding spot right here. When he wants to be hotter in a warmer um, climate, he can go over here into this hiding spot. There's also a heating pad in the back, way back there, as well as your lamp here. So as you see, this is the hot, hot side, um, and then you got the cold side over here, depending on what temperature he, he's feeling. Thermostat in the back. So like I said, anywhere from 90 degrees, you don't want it below like 70 to 75. So check it out, looks dope. Moment of truth, here's our ball python. We don't know if it's a male or female yet, um, but take a look. Super small. Like I said, males get in between um, they usually get like three feet and then a female will get up to five feet. Tanks all set up, ready to go, about to put, up, put he or she in it. I'm hoping it's a she just because they're bigger. Moment of truth, welcome to your new home. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you just double tap that sub button. Um, we got more to come, more on the uh, snake. We got a lot of videos coming up on the snake. So with that, thank you all for watching. Peace.